More local coverage now when it comes to the topic of recreational marijuana. Rhode Island's governor is open to legalization, but the state's attorney general is not. And this morning, we're looking into the White House's recent statements about trying to crack down on drug enforcement and what kind of an impact it could have on the ocean state. I want to reporter Julianne Pixoto here in studio with us this morning with more. Good morning. Well, during his daily media briefing yesterday, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said we can expect stricter enforcement of federal marijuana laws. That's good news for Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin, who does not support recreational pot use. The Providence Journal reports Kilmartin is already taking steps to fight any future recreational weed bills. He's sending an assistant attorney general to town council meetings all across the state. The councils are given a packet, which is full of ordinances passed by Rhode Island cities and towns that work to limit the drug. Kilmartin has cited concerns about increased violence, dangers to children, and poor adult work performance when high. The journal reports this town-level lobbying push began back in December and so far it's hit seven cities and towns. It's clear the state's attorney general has a much harsher view than the governor who shared her opinions shortly after Massachusetts legalized recreational marijuana. I want to get it right. I don't want to rush. It doesn't mean I'm against it. It just means I want to get it right. And if that means taking a little more time, then that's what I'm going to do. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll hear from the White House press secretary himself as he explains how the enforcement of federal marijuana laws may change under the Trump administration. Live in the studio, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.